Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher. Welcome to Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. This time out, a versatile pedal board controller from IK Multimedia. Let's get started. Today we're checking out iRig Stomp IO from IK Multimedia. Now this is a pedal board that allows you to take charge of your iOS device, your Mac computer, or your Windows computer. It integrates extremely well with IK Multimedia's Amplitude software, but it'll actually function as a MIDI controller, and it'll also serve as an I.O. and a MIDI I.O. for your computer-based DAW. The pedal board is set up to be very easy to operate and very easy to interface with. We've got an input that can accept either a guitar level signal or a microphone level signal, and there is 48 volt phantom power available for condenser mics. We have balanced stereo outputs for feeding into your mixer, to your recorder, or to another piece of gear. We've got MIDI I.O. for taking charge of your external MIDI hardware. We also have two external pedal inputs. These can be used to connect two foot switches or two expression pedals, so we can take charge of even more parameters when we're using the iRig Stomp I.O. There are three ways you can use the iRig Stomp I.O. First up, it'll operate standalone as a MIDI controller. So when you depress the foot switches, you move the expression pedal, you're sending out MIDI messages that can be used to control external hardware devices, whether they're effects, keyboards, synthesizers, controlling some other device as well. You can do all that right from the iRig Stomp I.O. with no computer or no iOS device connected. Second of all, we can operate it in iOS mode. It comes with a cable that'll hook up to a lightning-equipped iOS device, whether an iPhone, an iPod Touch, or an iPad. We can run IK Multimedia's AmpliTube software, or if you're working with a microphone, we can use their Vocal Live software. Finally, you can hook your Mac or your Windows computer up via USB. And when you do this, you don't have to have a power supply connected. The iRig Stomp I.O. will operate by bus power in that case. When you're using it with an iOS device, you do need to have an external power adapter connected. When you're using the iRig Stomp I.O. with your computer, it can serve as a MIDI interface as well as an audio interface for instrument level signals and for microphone level signals. Let's take a look at how the iRig Stomp I.O. works when we're using it with AmpliTube running in an iOS device, in this case my iPad. On the front panel, we have two knobs, one for setting the input gain and one for setting the output volume. And that output volume also adjusts the headphone jack that's on the back panel. We have four foot switches, and those serve different purposes depending on how you're using the iRig Stomp I.O. Finally, we have an expression pedal, and it does have an integrated foot switch, so you can use it as a wah pedal where you switch it on and off by stepping on it. When we launch AmpliTube in your iPad, it opens up with a familiar screen. We have the amplifier and the effects pedals above it. What we're interested in is this live switch here on the upper left. This puts us into live mode in AmpliTube and allows iRig Stomp I.O. to access either our presets or our individual pedals. In this case, stepping on a foot switch moves us from preset to preset. We can edit our pedals by simply clicking. And this gives us a large view of the controls. It's great for use on stage. We can actually assign any of the controls to the expression pedal by simply holding. When the dialog opens up, we move the pedal and it's assigned. To save changes to a preset, just click and hold. If you have external expression pedals connected, you can assign them to parameter controls in exactly the same way. We can also access the tuner by simply pressing foot switch 3 and holding it. Hitting any switch will take us back to the preset screen. We access tap tempo by pressing and holding foot switch 4. Again, we can hit any switch to exit tap tempo. We can bank up and down through 127 different banks by pressing and holding foot switch 1 and foot switch 2. And we bank down using foot switch 1. The second mode of operation for iRig Stomp I.O. is in Stomp mode. We access this by pressing foot switches 3 and 4 together. Now in this case, we're functioning basically as a straight ahead pedal board. We can turn the individual effects on and off. So I can turn my octave pedal on and off. I can turn my overdrive on and off. We have instant access. If we add an effect, say we add a wah, simply press, select our wah pedal, It automatically drops into slot 5, and it's automatically configured to use the switch and the expression pedal. So if we step on this, we'll activate the wah pedal. Step again and it turns off. Now in both preset mode and in stomp mode, if we're connected to MIDI devices, MIDI messages will be sent simultaneously. We access AmpliTube's looper by pressing switches 1 and 2 simultaneously. Now the four switches and iRig Stomp I.O. allow us to control the functions inside the looper. Switch 1 
moves us down through the loops. Switch 2 moves us up. Switch 3 starts and stops playback and recording. Once a loop is recorded, we can play it back, stop it, and we can delete it using switch 4. To return to stop or preset mode, press switches 1 and 2 again. If you're looking for a convenient, easy solution for taking AmpliTube on stage, for working with your DAW at home, for recording, rehearsing, performing, iRig Stomp IO is a great solution. It's made out of metal, it's very durable, yet it's lightweight and easy to pack. Simply slip your iPad, your iPhone, or your iPod Touch into the slot or connect it to your Mac or your Windows PC and you're ready to make music. I hope you've enjoyed this look at iRig Stomp IO from IK Multimedia. It's a very cool pedal board to add to your virtual guitar rig or to your DAW setup. Thanks for joining me for Sweetwater's Guitars and Gear. Be sure to tune in next time. We'll have more guitars, more amps, more effects. We'll be making lots of music. I'm Mitch Gallagher. Mm -hmm.